Oh my god. Okay, one hit for sure, and I'm dead now. Oh my god, this is so this is so nerve-wracking. I've got butterflies in my stomach. I have to play this perfectly now. There is no room for mess up. I just gotta get like 501 experience, and I'm I'm good. I can, I can save myself here. I don't dare move until I kill this thing, though. I'm just so I'm so afraid she's just gonna appear like right on top of me, and I'm not gonna be react fast enough, and I'm just gonna die like that. We'll see. Oh, oh thank you. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna be so. Not another one. Oh my god. Okay. Well, the good thing about this is that these guys give a lot of experience. This won't be enough to get me a level up still, but I can get close. I'm gonna be careful though. Oh shit, I'm not, not a bot. Those guys can screw you if you're not careful. I'm gonna take this guy over here if I can. Yeah, I can't. Oh shit. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. Oh. Yes, okay. I think I got two hits in there. That was awesome. Oh, I've never had such a tense experience in my life playing- well, I have. Play playing this game- shh, shh. I almost didn't react fast enough because I was talking. Wouldn't that have just been a kick in the pants? Don't let one of these guys kill- I'm just so scared. <sighs> Wait! That's not gonna help me, though! <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna leave the room so I can make those guys just go away. I know that's a cheap-ass move, but... You gotta do what you gotta do, right? And it gives- it gives me an excuse to cast shield again. Okay, watch out for this. Don't let one, don't let this thing kill you. Of all things that could possibly kill you here, not that. Oh my god, that was scary. Okay, but if I can get this, I get a level up, right? Oh my god, I, I didn't trust myself to downward stab there. I need to trust myself more, I think. If I get this, I get the level up, and I can save myself. Then there's that bot there. Fuck. That bot is getting dangerously close. Wait, is that it? Is that- Oh! 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 Oh my god! Man, that was so tense for so long! I- I- Oh my god, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna cast another one just cause- just, Oh my god. You have no- I have to- <laughs> Man, that was just- I, I was shaking- I'm still shaking, that was just so scary. And I still got so much of this pals to go to is the sad part. I just got to be extra extra careful now, because I know one more death and I'm just done for. I'm done like dinner. Yeah, from my recollection, I've only ever had one more experience more tense than that playing this game, and I think it was actually in this palace too, which is the funny thing. I might go over. I might explain that situation more in detail when I uh, actually get to that part of the palace, but for now, it's fine. I'm just gonna clear out all these blocks on the slim hope that one of them contains a red magic jar, because sometimes they do. You never know. I feel like my commentary was just absolute shit for the past, like, five minutes, just because I was so focused on the game. That's the worst thing that can happen in LPs. You get too focused on the game, and you, uh, lose track of your commentary. Damn it, I thought that fire was gone. But I got hit by it. Like a dumbass. I don't even... You know what? I don't even need to be going for experience now, because there's no way, even, like... I've still got a lot of this pals to go, but I'm pretty sure there's no way I can get to 4,000 experience before the boss, even if I kill everything on the way. So, might as well just, uh, truck it here and avoid as much damage as I possibly can. Oh, I can kill those guys in one hit? Jeez, <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought it would take at least two hits still for the blue skeletons. Oh well. I guess peak holes right, the red skeletons are really where it's at. No, the red skeletons in this game are pussies. Uh, compared to those guys. Oh yeah, I love when I destroy both those blocks with a downward stab. It feels so much more fulfilled than when you just destroy the one. Alright, um... Jeez, I'm just trying to weigh my options here now. No, not weigh my options, weigh my chances of survival is more like it, actually. Because I'm actually kind of... Because there's the room I was talking about earlier that I'm kind of, like, afraid of. And there's, like, two of the same kind of room. One that you don't have to go through and one that you do. I'm pretty sure I know which one you do have to go through. Because uh, I think, like, in one there's bubbles and in the one that you have to go through there's not bubbles. Or something. I don't know why I killed that thing. Just for the... 
sake of it, I guess, in case it dropped magic. And I think it's down here is the room that I'm dr Yes, this is it. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's got- with these Aslan heads again. Alright, I'm just gonna try to get through this room as quickly as possible. No pain, no suffering. I'm, I wish I could cast Reflect, because that would actually help here. In case they appear in front of you like that, and you can block their fire. Oh, shit. Thank my lucky stars that these uh, projectiles that the heads shoot don't do nearly as much damage as I thought they would. I don't have enough for jump, do I? I do! Oh my god, that's lucky. Because I can do that. Yes, that is that makes me so happy right now. Just so so rewarded. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm getting too lucky. I should have died. I should have gotten a game over like 20 minutes ago. Even though this recording is just getting up to 20 minutes right now in 10 seconds. Holy crap. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to cast life at least once. I think I'm gonna cast. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna cast shield because there's a blue iron knuckle up ahead. And I don't trust myself. Well, there's also an orange iron knuckle. Oh, I have the jump spell on. I'm, just, I'm gonna get rid of this first. Before I move on, because there's no way I'm fighting a blue iron knuckle with a jump spell. No thank you, man. Maybe for a challenge Sunday. Who knows? <laughs> oh, good lord. Alright, here we go. I do have a key for this door, don't I? I do. Alright, i uh, cast shield again. Why not? <laughs> Why not? You're kind of running low on magic now, buddy. Even though you just picked up that red potion, that red jar. I'm just on the brink of catastrophe at all moments here. You really gotta be on your on the edge of your seat while playing this. You gotta be on your toes while doing this fifth and sixth palaces. Cause they are pretty brutal. Especially the sixth pal the sixth palace is even more of a maze than this place, so you really gotta watch out there. You gotta watch your ass. But here's our item for this the whistle or the flute, I don't even know. Ah oh, yes, but Oh, that's going to be useful for two things in the game. One is the River Devil, and one is unlocking the Sixth Palace. I'll just spoil that now, I guess. Alright, wait for that Oh my god, she appeared right on top of me. That's one of my biggest fears in this game. It's when one of those stupid things appears right on top of you. And cast Reflect, actually. Because, like I said before, that can be a saving grace in this room. Oh, shit. Uh, I might be dead here. We'll see. No, I think I got it. No, 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 I died! I died! I... No! Uh, uh, what? Well... Shit. I told you that room could be brutal! Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm not gonna scrap this now. Not after that amazing come. Still, the what does the comeback do now? Now that you died anyways. So, it's not... It's not suspenseful anymore, man. You ruined it. You spoiled the mood. You spoiled the milk, man. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if I've already cut by this point or not. I'm just gonna meet you guys back in the fourth palace, though. Okay, guys, I'm back now at the relative spot where I died, and oh my god, I can't believe that. I was hoping to get through this Let's Play without any game overs, but I don't know. I guess I just... I guess this game's just hard is what it is. That's just the way it goes, I suppose. Alright, but now that we're done there, we at least got, we got the whistle out of that place. That's all I could ask for. So now we're just gonna go and head straight for the boss, I suppose. If I can remember, if I can even remember the way to the boss now. I remember that to get to the boss, there's like a four-way junction. Like, yeah, another four-way junction, I know. And, uh, you got, you have to head up, or up from it to get to the boss. Oh, uh, this is gonna hurt, maybe? Yes, ah, crap. Oh, there's three of these. I'm just gonna ignore all of you. All of y'all. And I can't believe how stupid that was. That's just so saddening that I made such a comeback before. I know it probably wasn't as great of a comeback as I thought it was, but it was still cool. And then I just end up dying in anyways. It's just like, man, it totally defeats the purpose of it. It kills the buzz. I don't think there's anything over here besides a pee bag, yeah. So if you really want the experience, then beat by all means, but... Especially now that I've gotten that game over and lost all my experience, there's no way I'm going, uh... I'm gonna be able to get up to 4,000 before the boss. Yeah, that way down there, uh, 
Yeah, there's another pee bag up there. You have to use the jump spell to get it if you want it. But that way I went down there and I like just glanced at it and then went back up. That's the room I was talking about before that's identical to the one I got the game over in. Except, um... I think I have to actually get like one more key or something around here. Yeah, you don't, you don't actually have to go that way. So... Oh, this guy's coming for me. Watch out. There we go. Oh, no. Don't get him. Come on. There we go. Oh, am I going to get both of them? Oh, sweet. This is awesome. <laughs> I shouldn't even be hitting that guy. I should have gotten hit by him there or something. I'll oh, just a pee bag over here. Yeah, I thought so. I knew that the key I need was uh, down from this junction. Mm, looks like that bubble's going up to the boss. He feels more confident than I do. The boss of this place can actually be a bit annoying, especially if you don't have enough magic when you get there. Which I might not, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose the good thing about not needing the pee bags is that you can just pass those up and not risk the damage that you'll take as a result. This room's always really cool because there's the all three types of iron knuckles. There's the orange one we just killed, there's the red one there's the red one up there, and there's the blue one here. Just the perfect twelve donut assortment, you know. Except it's three donuts. And they're actually dark nuts. Hmm. Oh, dude. Yeah, I remember. Like, uh, remember when I said before that there was a moment more tense? Like, I can only remember one moment where I felt more tense, more tension than uh, my comeback thing that I did before. Well, it was actually uh, it kind of started with this guy in this temple, and I was at, at this point, and I was down to like literally like. Regardless of whether it had the shield spell on or not, if I'd taken one hit, I would die. And I had to take down that blue iron knuckle. I had to take down another blue iron knuckle that's on the way to the boss. And I had to take down the boss himself, all without dying, otherwise I would have gotten the game over. And I actually managed to do it, which was the crazy thing. And that, was a, it, that was in a practice run of this palace, and I kind of wish I had gotten that on film, but... Uh, I don't know, you, I guess I just can't play as well when I'm on film, what can I say? When I'm on film, I make it sound like I'm in the 1950s or something. When I'm on film, you know, back in the old days, we didn't have all this fancy black magic and HD PVR stuff. I don't, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, so here's the other blue iron knuckle that kind of caused my moment of worry in my practice run. My moment of scaredness. Because as you know, I'm scared of blue iron knuckles to begin with, and when I'm that low, when I'm that close to a game over, then they're just even worse. I, I didn't even have any magic either, so I couldn't cast shield even if I wanted to. I couldn't cast any of the buffs I needed for the boss, and I actually managed to defeat him, which is unheard of for me anyways. I actually don't think there's a red uh, potion in that in that statue up there. I used to I used to always think there was. I could have sworn there was one in this one, but apparently not. Like, I've tried hitting that so many times before now, and it just doesn't work. So I guess there's not one. Alright, but here's the boss now. I think this guy's name is Gooma. I remember that because it reminds me of Goma and also of Goomba. So, uh, yeah, G-U-U-M-A. <laughs> sure. Uh, so what you want here, you want shield, obviously. That's a godsend for most bosses. And you actually want jump, too. And you'll see why, kind of, here. All right, here we go. Uh, so you can't act if you you can't stab this guy in the head. Well, you can. He just won't take damage. <laughs> you have to stab him in the body if you want to do damage to him, and that can be kind of a pain because he swings that whole big mace thing around, and that's why you want the jump spell so you can stay close to him and just jump over the mace instead of having to like back away and risk taking a hit. Especially since that mace does massive damage, as you can see here. Even with the shield, it's doing like a full 16 damage. So you just gotta be really really be careful here. Jeez. This guy reminds me of like a cross between King Hippo and uh somebody. I don't know. Shit. I don't have enough magic for life either. Oh, maybe I can pull this off still. Pull off a brutal victory. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see here. It's not like I'm all tense or anything cuz if I if I fail this then I still have like two more lives or whatever, so. Still I'd like to be able to preserve those for the harder parts of the game. I think that the si the boss of the sixth palace is actually a lot easier than this guy. Surprisingly, it's kind of I I always found it kind of awkward that you have to use jump for both the fifth and sixth palace bosses. 
because the sixth one you have to like hit him way up high and it's really kind of weird you have to do it for the for like the boss of I don't know, this is kind of spoiler, but for the first boss of the last palace too. Oh yeah, man! <laughs> I actually thought it would. I think one more hit and I would have died there. So I'm actually kind of glad I didn't have to do that. I guess that sort of makes up for my game over. Not really though. Nothing really makes up for a game over. I guess. But there we go. Five crystals, boy. Thirty-four minutes. I don't believe thirty-four minutes to get this far. That's just that's horrible, man. You're nothing. You're nothing, and he never will be. Oh, look, he maxed our life levels. That's cool. Oh, my God. Uh, I think that's going to have to be... I'm going to have to call that a recording, though, because I don't know. After that game over, I'm just depressed all of a sudden. It's like I'm Ed Norton in Fight Club or something. Just can't get the groove, you know? I feel like I'm being punched in the face constantly by this game. I think I, I don't know, I don't know why I'm so down on myself in this game, because a lot of you guys are saying, you're actually like really good at this game, you shouldn't be so down on yourself, like, it's a hard game, so you gotta expect some fail. I think why I'm so down on myself is because I know that I have so much skill in this game, well, not so much skill, but I don't want to get a head full of air here. I, while I'm talking about this, I guess I can just go do this cave down here, like, why not? Because there's a cave with a pee bag, just as I'm closing off here. Cause it's not that long of a cave, anyways. I don't know. I just, I just hoist such high expectations of myself that I feel like I have to just prove it more to myself than to you guys. And I know I have like some like people who are actually really good at Zelda 2 who are watching this. Like, uh, like Cow's crazy is watching this. He's good at Zelda 2. I tell you, he did the whole final boss without the cheap trick. Man, that was crazy. And I don't know if, uh, I don't know if you're watching this, Tim, but you're good at this too. And Pico, I've never actually seen you play, so I don't know if you're any good, but... And I'm sure there's plenty of other of you guys that are good at this, too. These guys have a really funny name, too, just like the Magos, but I can't remember what it is now. I don't know why I should be able to remember, because it's really funny, but... It's like, er, or something. I don't know. They're kind of annoying. You have to hit them when their eyes are open, just like that. As is standard for most scorpion and bug-like enemies in the game, in the Zelda series. I don't know why, they all seem to have some kind of eye weakness. Anyways, I'm just going to go back to Nabooru and heal up, I guess. So, uh, next time we'll progress down to, the to, down to the southern section of this continent, of this crazy continent. Lovely continent. Shame I wasn't invited. Anyways, so thanks everyone for watching. This has been Argon Matrix. Signing out. Thank you. Uh, and good night. <laughs> I'm glad she says medicine at the end there, otherwise I would have been a little creeped out. <laughs>